nionyeshe mahali ambapo ule CS ameweka kidole kwamba amekuwa served yangu ilipokuja mliona nimeweka kidole na stamp ya law firm yangu iko wapi hivyo ndivyo vitu viwili taifa hili halitafanya kazi vile huyu DCI mpya anataka kufanya kazi kwa hivyo mkinipa hizo kumbuka niliuliza hilo swali tena DCI anasema ana order ya kuvunja na kuchukua CCTV vyombo vya habari nipe hiyo order nani ashaionyeshwa hiyo order so in summary what we have said the court order from the high court does not stop the cs from being investigated he has nothing to hide but the investigation must be done within the law my good advocates will ad ex explain the sections of the law summons a proper summon under the national police service act must be signed and witnessed by police officers show me one where the police have signed similar to mine where there were three signatures of police officers two a summon must be served in person to the person it is targeting show me a summon that has been served to dr fred matiang and he has put a signature there or his advocate has put a signature there or his wife has put a signature there or his worker has put a signature there the lawyers will deal with that let me simply put it that the media were cheated it was politics to depict the cs as somebody not ready to comply that he has defied the summons of the D dci show me that summons. this politics must stop so today the cs is being looked at fabricating or, pro or propagating false information the dci the new dci and you can see the new dci his mode of operation a complete departure that proves completely somebody incompetent somebody who doesn't know how the law is to be applied in service of summons so my client when he will be served within the law he will be the first one to appear before any investigative agency in this country so any narrative to show dr matiangi as somebody who is not ready to comply with the police is politics is hot air from the dci and that is why we have put it to the attention of the whole country that show us where the service is and show us a summon that has been signed if the police can be uh, i think that was generated at river road it can't be the dci because the dci must sign summons my good uh, uh, two lawyers will lay the basis of the national police service act section 52 where that summon is anchored and also section 9 uh, the criminal procedure code where the procedure should be followed mr Machado. so the, the law on summons is so clear in the criminal procedure code there are several sections sections 90 sections 92 and sections 144 in the criminal process those are the among the guiding principles or guiding sections that ought to inform the manner, the service, and the form and content of summons. In civil practice, the order, civil procedure rules have extensive uh, discussions on how summons ought to be served. Who is to be served? If it's a corporate, how is the corporate to be served? 
in essence, summons ought to be served in person. Summons, the essence of a summons, the reasons why summons are issued, they can be issued by an investigating office, office or a department, or even summons can be issued by the court. The essence of summons is to ensure that the person so addressed can appear before the court or before the investigating agency. The National Police Service is allowed to provide National Police Service Act, Section 52. It can summon anyone to appear before it for investigative purposes. But that does not defeat the, the procedure, the substantive and the formal procedural uh, uh, provisions as to how summons are to be drafted and how they are to be served. To this extent, we have not seen a summons served upon our client. The, the def default to honor summons, the court can issue warrants of ar arrest or they can even issue a proclamation. There are so many avenues by which the court can address disobedience with summons. What we are telling the, the, the world is to this extent we've not received any summons, neither has our client informed us of having received any summons. So to the extent the, the criminal procedure we have not seen any procedure followed. We cannot preempt investigation being done by the relevant and appropriate bodies. The court indeed pointed as such. The reasons why we in court, we are asking the procedures to be followed. We are not in any way faulting or overlooking or overstepping their mandate investigation is to be done, summons are to be served upon the individuals so intended in the right way. So to this extent, we are waiting to see any that conforms to the criminal or even to the extent of the civil procedures with the reference to summons and service. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, uh, we, we take summons to be very serious tools of investigations. First, because summons actually metamorphosize into what is called warrants of arrest. And if you're not careful, uh, lack of respect of summons issued by investigative agency can actually form a basis on which the court, when you're presented before it, can deny you cash bill or even bond, regardless of whether it is a right or not. So what, what we are saying in summary is that even after taking these summons to be a very serious thing, our client is yet to receive any summons. We are not aware of any summons that have been issued thus far. That is number one. And secondly, if at all any summons have been issued, then we, are, we, we do not have that knowledge. And then again, they have not conformed to the known norms or guidelines that have been set in law. Remember that investigations are also administrative in nature. And administrative law has been codified in our current constitutional dispensation. So much so that... Any person who is under investigation must be accorded what is called fair administrative action. This action must be reasonable, it must be justifiable, and it must sit well within the four confines of the law. So to that extent, well, uh, we, we have seen that the, the current DCI has developed a unique modus operandi, a unique way of doing things that is unknown to the face of the law. But this is what we will want to say in summary or in closing, that... The office of the DCI is a creature of the law. The appointment of Mr. Mohammed Amin as the DCI was done as the law so requires. So it is our expectation that everything that he will do, he will do so as and in accordance with the law. If he continues failing to respect and obey the law or obeying the law, then we will be forced to use the very mechanisms that have set him in that office to have him removed from that office. We are not going to mince our words. We are going to ensure that all of us respect the rule of law. The law anticipates that all of us, regardless of how mighty we are, regardless of how high in command of the police ranks or whichever ranks we are, we are subordinate to the, to the law. We all bow to the sovereignty of the law. And we will be encouraging him that moving forward, it is high time that he respects the law. He leads his juniors in obeying what we call the rule of law. Thank you for now. The constitution of this country says that if the CS is under any threat, he'll report to the police. Where he is, 
he's no longer a public figure. He has already told people that he's a private citizen. And his uh, whereabouts is not an issue because his lawyers have not raised it. Where he is is not an issue, but all we are saying that we are in touch with our client as and every minute. We want to take further instructions and he wants to give us instructions.